So in this video, I will focus on output graphs. And the first thing I want to focus on is recessionary gaps where y is less than y star. And this is reflected in the graph where y is less than y star. And when this happens, uh, there is no equilibrium. AS is not equal to AD, and that is not equal to RAS. And some solutions to make to make equilibrium is the first solution is that the natural way of doing it by doing nothing. And by doing nothing, uh, a factor prices the prices we need to produce the price of the goods need uh, of the resources need to produce the goods fall, and we with the same amount of money we can uh, pretty much supply more, and that will cause. Uh, aggregate supply to move right, so factor prices go down, aggregate supply goes right, AS1 uh, goes to AS2, and on the graph will look like this, AS1 and AS2 will be here, and that's pretty much the first option of making equilibrium. At this point, AS is equal to AD and, it's AD and ET is equal to LRAS. The second option we have is by increasing spending, and increasing spending generally means increasing our autonomous expenditure or uh, increasing our Z, which is the margin propensity to spend. And uh, two ways to increase Z is by decreasing taxes, decrease tax, or decrease imports. imports. And when this happens, the aggregate demand will move right because we decrease uh, taxes or we increase the increase the willingness, the marginal propensity to spend. That means uh, we're we're increasing demand, uh, not uh, the factor that the factor that the factors that are increasing demand isn't price, but some other factor. So that, uh, so that would cause the demand curve to shift and it will shift to a new curve which is right here and that will be our new aggregate demand aggregate demand 2 so AD shifts from 81 81 to 82 at that point we see here that it's at equilibrium LR AS is equal to AD is equal to and that is equal to uh, AS inflationary gaps are pretty much the same thing thing except that uh, it's pretty much the opposite of uh, recessionary gaps and again the first the, uh, pretty much inflationary gaps we have y greater than y star and uh, yeah that's the opposite of recessionary gaps and again the, the first option first solution of getting back to equilibrium is uh, doing nothing and by doing nothing we can let factor prices increase and AS moves left and factor prices increase causes the good, the resources needed to produce the good to increase, meaning that with the same amount of money we buy less than before, and that causes our uh, our the our supply to fall. And when it falls, it moves left from AS one to AS two. So this is AS one. So to move left, it means to go back to AS two, and go shift like that go from here to here and again now we're at equilibrium LRAS is equal to AS is equal to AD the second way of uh, do of uh, fixing this inflationary gap is by decreasing spending and that is the same as our recessionary gap just the opposite we could decrease AE not C here we increase now uh, in the inflationary gap we decrease so decrease AE not or uh, decrease the marginal propensity to spend and we could do this by increasing taxes or increasing imports or increasing imports and when this happens uh, right AD moves left because when there are high taxes and uh, there are a lot of imports then people pretty much don't want to spend because uh, because they have to pay too much to get too little so AD moves left and 81 and it goes from 81 to 82 and you know where 82 will go 82 will just uh, go here we'll move uh, left right so this was 81 so it pretty much shifts down and 
this will be our 82. If I could just draw the proper line. There you go. This will be 82. And that is your quick run through of uh, uh, output gaps. And yep, this is it for the this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. And also, this is the last video of the first part. The next video will be part two. And look